All right, good day, everyone. Um, as I said, the, the topic for today is using the navigation block. And um, to start with a definition, the navigation block is used to display a menu of links to help visitors navigate around your site. And of course, the navigation block is usually added to um, a header template part or a footer template part. So let's just have a look at um, the objectives of today's online workshop. Number one, creating and managing menus. We're going to look at adding a submenu, customizing your menu, adding blocks to your menu, rearranging or removing menu items, and of course, also looking at header and footer, um, header or footer patterns. Because um, yeah, we add we add the navigation block to those to those patterns. All right, so let's go and explore the navigation block. And the first um, the first place I'm going to, to start is, of course, one of my test websites. So let's make our way there. And you will notice if we go to appearance and themes, I have installed and activated the 2023 um, block theme. And um, of course, today I'll also be focusing on, on using a block theme because with the block theme, um, you have the power in your hands to, um, to, to create and manage your, your navigation menus in the site editor. So let's make our way to editor. And this will of course take us um, into our site editor. <clears throat> Now, where will be where will we be adding our um, header and footer um, template parts? We usually add them to our our template, right? We add content to our um, pages and posts, but we use templates to create um, the structure or design for um, a page or a post. So we add our header template parts and our footer template parts um, to templates. So there's of course two ways to um, to add your navigation block to a header or a footer template part. The first place is when you go to templates and you open up, um, let's say for example, the page template. And then if we open up the, the template, we can start modifying um, the, the header or the footer. And something else I wanted to point out as well is if I go to pages, let's just go to pages and let's say we are on our about page. Um, we will notice that we add content to the post content block in a page. We, we can't um, customize our header and footer in a page. So let's see what happens if I click on my header you will notice it says there, edit your template to edit this block. So if you then go to edit template at the bottom right here, it will take us to the page template in this case. And here you can, of course, customize your header um, or your footer. Another place where you can customize your header and your footer is if you make your way to patterns. And right at the bottom, you will see template parts. And here you will see header template parts, footer template parts, and general template parts. But of course, um, you can also then um, select a header template part here, open it up, and um, make changes here. Now, for today's example, I have created a, a custom template to, to work in. So I'm just going to make my way to templates. Um, I just clicked on the plus icon and I created a custom template and I've called it navigation block. So let's open up the navigation block template. And now of course I can go ahead and start building my, my header and my footer. So if I open up my list view, you will notice that my header here um, already has a row block. And then within the row block, we have another row block and within that row block, I've got my site logo block, and then I stacked my site title and my site tagline block. So to add my navigation block, um, I'm going to select the, the parent row block. 
And then I am going to click on add block. And in this case, we want to add the navigation block. Now you will see, we actually have two list views. Um, so you will notice I have um, selected the entire navigation block, the parent block. So you can see that here in this list view. And then of course, on this side, you've got the navigation list view. Now, one of the first things I wanted to highlight is that there is a parent-child relationship between the navigation blocks and the blocks within the um, navigation block. So of course, if I click on the home navigation item, for example, you will notice that the, the sidebar settings change. And in this list view, you will see, all right, here's my navigation block. And here are my individual um, page links that I've added. So this is the parent block. And these are the, the children that I've added um, to the, the navigation block. So let's say, for example, we are we have selected the home um, navigation menu. And now we want to select the, the parent block again. Now, there's two ways to do that. Um, you can click on select navigation in your block toolbar. Or of course you could have done that in your list view. So it's always good to have your list view open because it does help you to always see where you are, what you're editing, etc. All right. So if you want to see other menus that you, you have already created, um, you need to go to the sidebar on the right. And then next to menu, you can click on the three vertical dots. And there you will see other navigation menus um, that you have already created. And of course, you can create a new menu from here. So let's go ahead and, and do that just for, um, for example's sake. So I'm going to um, click on the three vertical dots and I'm going to say, um, create menu. And now I want to start um, from scratch, building a new um, navigation menu. So I will click on add block. And now it's important to remember that there's different things that you can add to your um, navigation menu. Um, navigation menu. You can add pages, um, you can add um, post categories, um, you can actually add links to other websites um, and you can add blocks, but we'll we'll see that now. So for, for this example, or before we do that, let's say, um, yeah, for, for this example, let's just start building our basic um, navigation menu and then we can talk about the other things as we, we go um, go along. So the first thing I want to add is my, my home page or my home page link. Now, of course, I've already created this page Maybe I should jump this side. Just go back to my dashboard. Um, and I go to pages. So you will notice I have already added these pages, right? So these links are already created. And if I go to posts, you will notice I've already created three posts as well. All right. So back here, um, I, I've typed in home. And now you will notice on the right, it is a page link. So then I can click on home. And then I'll click on the insert again. And this time I want to add, it's a sushi restaurant. So I created a menu page. So another page link. My about page, another page link. And a contact page. And that's also a, a page link. And now, I would like to add some social um, social icons as well. You'll notice at the bottom, it says transform. And there's actually um, three different blocks or four different blocks um, that you can add here. But we're, gonna, we're after the social icons block. So we can add the social icons block. And then I'm just going to open up my list view. Make sure you select the parent block. And now I'm going to say, I want this to be an um, Instagram. Select the parent block again, Facebook, 
parent block again, and let's say WordPress for now. And of course, they are gray at the moment, so let's just add a fake um, URL. And of course, when you do that, the um, correct color will appear. So let's just add an X there for, um, for now. But now the interesting thing that you can take note of is if you select the, the navigation block and click on the insert and now, it looks a bit different because you've added a different block. Now you will see you can add one of these blocks, but if you click on browse all, you will see all the different blocks that you are able to, to add to your navigation block. And unfortunately, um, it is limited to these only. I know some folks sometimes ask, can you add a buttons block to a navigation menu? And unfortunately, you can't do that yet without, without code. Um, you can't do it with core, core WordPress um, as yet. All right, so let's go ahead and add one more navigation item. Um, so let's say um, I want to add another page. So then I will select page link. But now I, I haven't created a page that I want to add. So let's see, I want to add a blog page. Let's type in blog. Now, as you will notice, there's no blog page yet. So if you go here, and if I go to pages, you will see there's no blog page. Now, of course, you could have done it in the dashboard, but or in the site editor even. Um, but now you can you also have an option to create a draft page. So let's create this draft page and then press save. And now we can go to our dashboard. Let's refresh this. There's our blog page now. Let's edit. We can add some content. We are going to publish. And now we can go back and we can refresh because we've published it now. And now you will notice there's our, our blog page. Now, when you select an individual um, block within your navigation um, block, you are able to move them. So there's actually two ways to do it. You can use the mover. So let's, for example, select the blog page and we can use the little arrows or movers and we can say, oh, we actually wanted to be here. Another option, of course, is let's say you use your list view and you can drag it up and say you want it there. It's the longer line. If it's a shorter line, just want to show you, if it's a shorter blue line, Sometimes it's a bit clunky. If it's a shorter blue line, it's going to be added as a sub menu. You don't want that yet. So you want it to be a longer blue line. And then, of course, you can um, rearrange blocks um, using the list view as well. And you can even use this list view. Um, so you can even drag and drop it that way as well. Or, of course, whoops, wrong arrow. Or you can, of course, um, say, I want to use the little arrows or the, the movers. All right. Now, the next thing that I wanted to do is I want to add a sub menu. So what you do is you select the, the relevant um, navigation item. And then in the block toolbar, you will see an option that says add sub menu, this little icon. So I'm going to select add sub menu. I'm going to say add link. Now, this time, I actually don't want to add a page link. I want to add um, links to three of my blog posts. So we can do that. So um, I'm going to type in sushi because you have to type in the name. You can't just merely type in. Let's see what happens if you type in post. If you type in post, it says create a draft page. So we can't do that. But I know the name. There's sushi in my title of my post. And now you will see it says post there. So these are the posts that I've created. And now I can say, okay, the first one I'm going to add is Sushi Etiquette. I'm going to press Enter. Type in Sushi again. Making Sushi. Enter again. And the last one is the Sushi, sushi Ship. Now you can even go further and build out your sub -menu, menu even more. So if I select this navigation item, I can click on Sub Menu. And of course, you can just keep uh, keep going and keep um, extending your um, 
your menu items or your sub menu items. All right, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to say undo. And there we go. We've got our, um, our sub menus below blog. All right, now let's talk about customizing our um, navigation block a bit. Okay, so um, if you select your parent block, of course, you will notice um, there's a settings tab and a styles tab. So if I go to um, settings, um, you will notice below display, you can decide if you want the hamburger menu, um, if you want the hamburger menu to display on, on mobile or not. So at the moment I've selected mobile. So that means that the hamburger menu will, will come up on a smaller, a smaller device. Um, you can even select always, then it will always be a hamburger menu, even on a, on a desktop. But let's select mobile for now. If you click on the hamburger, there's two different um, icon options. So there's one with three lines. So we can even select that one. And let's talk about submenus as well. Here below settings, you will see there's a submenu option at the moment. When I hover over blog, my submenu appears, but if I select open on click, we will see that if I hover over my navigation item, it does not appear, I have to click. And if I click, it then um, opens up. So I also wanted to mention, if, if I'm here and my list view is open, the way to go back to our parent block is selecting the select navigation um, icon. So let's say select navigation that will ensure that I select my parent block and I can go back to settings and say, okay, no, I actually wanted to open up when I hover. So let's put the open on click off and show arrow. Um, and then it will open up when you, when you hover. Then next to settings, you've got styles. And now for example, you can change the text um, color, the background color, even the sub menu text color and the background color of your sub menu. Um, so let's do a bit of, let's, let's make some changes and let's see this in action. So if we go to topography and let's say I want to change the appearance, let's select appearance. And then let's say we want this to be light. We can also change the size. So let's say we want this to be medium. You can even make large, but let's go for medium. And the other thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to change the color of the text of my, my um, submenu. So let's do that. So if I go to submenu and overlay text, let's select that. And I'm going to add a custom color, the same red as you will see in my um, site logo. So here you can um, customize. If you click here on the top, you can add a hex code. So you can add or you can um, use use the slider here, but I've got a, I've got a color already and I know the hex code. So it's E B one D two seven. And now you will notice that if you hover over, um, the blog page, your, your sub menu has got a different color. So there are many customer, um, options to customize your, um, your um, your navigation menu. All right, so I'm gonna click save for now. And let's turn our attention to our footer then. As you will notice, I've already started building my footer, but I have I have not added page links um, to my to my footer. So let's open our list view and let's see our footer. We've got a, a row block as well. We've stacked the site title, the address, and proudly powered by WordPress. And then on that side, we've stacked um, a paragraph. And on this side, we've stacked our social links. So we're going to select this paragraph pages, and we're going to click on the three vertical dots and say add after. Great. And now 
we are going to say we want to add our navigation block. Okay, so we've added our navigation block, but that's not the one we want. So we can easily change that, of course. You go to the three vertical dots, and we can now select the, the footer navigation, the one that we've already created. Or you, or, or you can, of course, create a custom um, footer. So let's select footer navigation. That's the one I have already created. But now, of course, these items are displaying horizontally. I want them to display vertically. And that's also an easy fix. Um, we've selected the parent block. If we go to settings, you will notice next to justification is an option orientation. And at the moment it is horizontal and we can say we want it to be vertical. And now we have some quick links to our pages in, um, in our in our footer. And of course we can add our new blog page if we wanted to, um, et cetera. I wanted to show you an example of a, of a university website. George, um, Georgia State University. And in this example, you will notice um, this type of header. And of course, this is achievable. This is actually something easy to build by just adding, this is one, two, three, four, five, six different um, navigation menus or navigation blocks that they've added. Now, of course, we change this so we can we can go ahead and and customize we can customize this as well now if we want to right so that is the the first example the first two examples i wanted to show you i'm going to jump over to my other test website and now i'm actually going to use a pattern to show you how that works as well, a header pattern. So of course, um, I have installed the 2023 block theme again. We're gonna make our way to the editor. And this time we are going to customize one of our proper templates, our page template. So I'm going to select templates and I'm going to select um, the page template and then I'm going to open it up. And now, of course, we can start modifying our, our header and our footer in our template. Now, you will see there's already a, um, a list of all the pages on my site. Now, the reason I wanted to show you this as well is because I have not created any, I've not created any navigation menu yet. So when you start a new website, um, you will see this actually happening. You'll see a page list. So let's just open up my, my list view. And let's open up and select the navigation block. Now, at the moment, you will see if I even open this up, you will see it's a page list. So at the moment, I can't manipulate any of the individual blocks within the parent block because they are all part of a page list. So we can't do anything about it yet. I can't, you'll see the movers are grayed out. So what do we do? Well, of course you can just select edit. Here at the bottom on the, on, the, on the right in the sidebar, it says edit this menu. This menu is automatically kept in sync with pages on your site. You can manage the menu yourself by clicking edit below. All right, so let's say edit. And there we go. Now we can actually start saying, okay, we want to move these around. Okay. We are going to, we're going to look at that um, in just one sec. For now, I'm going to select the header though and say, okay, I don't want this header. I want a different pattern. And of course, and um, in WordPress, they provide you with different types of patterns. You can, of course, um, get access to different types of patterns, but um, when you select your header, you can look at some header patterns that come with your theme or some of the core WordPress patterns. So I'm selecting my header, uh, my header. then I'm going to um, 
select the three vertical dots and say replace header. And now you will see I um, have some patterns to choose from. So all the hard work has already been done for me. Um, and these are, of course, core patterns um, that's part of WordPress. So I'm going to select this one, full width header with Euro image. So let's select that. Great. Now the next, the next thing that I wanted to do is I want, I'm just selecting this header. I want to focus on this header without any distractions. So I'm going to modify this header in focus mode. So if you select your header and you click on edit, you will go into focus mode or template editing mode. And now I can edit this header without any distractions. Um, I won't have to edit it right within my template. We could have stayed in the template and we could have edited there, but now you can do it without any, any things that, or anything that might distract you. Okay, so let's select our navigation block and say, all right, it was a page list. I have changed it so that I can edit it. So now I don't want some of these pages. Some of these pages are um, were just added because they, they were part of my website. So I can select test two. We want to delete that. So I'll select the block, click on the three vertical dots, say delete, and the sample page, select three vertical dots, delete. And now I'm actually going to quickly make some updates to my to my header to show you what is achievable and when using a pattern. So I've already added a, a, a site logo or a logo to my media library, and I've already added a, a Euro image to my media library. So I'm going to click on the site logo block and I'll select this image that I'm going to use for, for my site logo. And I'm going to select the Euro image or the cover block, say replace. Open Media Library, select. And now the next thing I want to do is at the moment, my site title says support. I'm going to say this is Penguin Palace. It's my, my site's name or my company's name or nonprofit's name. And there you go. I've created this header um, using a pattern um, in, in a few minutes. So, yes, patterns um, are um, are wonderful are wonderful ways to to build headers and, and and footers. All right, so I am going to click save, and I'll show you another example. Um, you can, for example, go to, so this is when I, I worked in a template and I, I decided I'm going to actually focus on this template part in focus mode. But if I go to template parts now and I click on header, you will notice my header is available here now. And of course, if I click on it from here, I can, I can edit it. All right. So if I select footer, for example, here in um, below patterns, I can click on the plus icon and say create template part and say I want to create a footer template part and let's say we call it test footer and create. And now you can start creating it from scratch. But let's use a pattern. Um, now, that I'm not going to use one of the, the patterns that come with my theme or core WordPress. I'm actually going to go to the patterns directory. So if you make your way to the WordPress.org site and you hover over Download and Extend, you make your way to Patterns. And you can click here on Footers. And here are some footers that come with core WordPress. You will notice they all say WordPress.org. Or you can click on curated and select community. 
And now you will see patterns that's been added to the pattern directory from, um, from community members. And if you like a pattern, you can say, okay, let's copy this pattern. Let's make our way back. And we said we're gonna, now you can just paste. So I'm gonna say Command V. And now we can just paste this, this pattern. And now we can, of course, edit edit the, the pattern and modify the pattern according to our needs. But I wanted to show you where to add your navigation block, of course. So if I select this block, you will notice this is just a placeholder, right? Um, the pattern doesn't have any, um, any page links. This is just a placeholder to show you, oh, we can add our our navigation block here. So I'm going to delete this. Click on the three vertical dots and say delete that. Click on the three vertical dots and say add after. And now we can type in navigation. And let's open styles and say we want the text to be white. And then of course we need to Go to settings and say we want this to be vertical. And there we go. And now, of course, you can modify it so that it all looks the same. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you those two examples where you can use patterns to, adv to your advantage. The next example that I wanted to show you was a website I created using a cover block and adding adding a row block and adding a navigation block to my, my cover block. So I created this website, a photography website. And you will notice I've added my navigation menu here and I've added a, um, a sub menu, the one where you actually have to click on first. So let's click on galleries and let's select one of the, the galleries, action sports. And here you will see a different header. And yeah, so I wanted to show you how you can quickly create this type of, of header um, using a cover block and of course your um, site logo block and your navigation block and a row block and a spacer block. Okay, I'm just going to quickly show you how you can you can do this. So Let's make our way to appearance, click on editor. Let's go to patterns. Let's go to headers. Now, of course, here you will see the ones that I've created, but we're going to say we want to create a new header template part. So create template part. We want to create a header template part. Let's say Let's call this navigation block example and say create. Okay, now we can quickly build this from scratch. So first up, I'm going to add a cover block and I'm going to select the image that I wanted. So this image and I'm going to change the opacity moment there's a darker opacity let's just um let's just make this a bit lighter we can change that now if we if we wanted to okay let's make this a bit larger all right so now we're going to add a row block and on the left, we are going to add our site logo. All right, let's make that a bit larger. Make sure you select your row block again. And on the right of that, we want to add our navigation block. Now, that's not the navigation block I wanted, right? So I'm going to click on the three vertical dots and say, oh, I want that one, navigation. There we go. Okay, select the row block. Let's press enter and now add a spacer block because we want to, we want to push that up. 
So we can enlarge this um, spacer block. And there we go. Okay, so now let's select our row block, almost there. Let's make this wide width. But now you'll notice that my, let's oh, just enlarge this slightly as well. Now you will notice that my navigation block is right next to my, my site logo. Now the way to fix that is to select your row block, open up settings, and below justification, there's an option called space between items. And when you select space between items, it's gonna make some space between the logo and the navigation menu. Great. And now we can even add some padding. Let's add some padding around there. Let's select our navigation, whoops, undo. Select our navigation block and say, okay, we want to change the font family. So let's typography appearance, sorry. And let's also say we want this to be light or even extra light. And let's make that medium or, or large. Or you can click on set custom size and say, okay, no, let's make this 1.6 or 1.5. Let's enlarge that a bit. And there you go. Let's say we can even say, let's say that's full width. That might look a bit better. So we've made the, the Roblox full width. So there I've created a, a new header um, using a cover block. If you open your list view, using a cover block, a row block, and then within your row block, I have my site logo, my navigation block, and a spacer block. So something else that I wanted to um, point out to you, this is a new feature that was uh, that landed with 6.3. Um, so I'm going to just make my way to this test website again. And let's make our way to the site view sidebar. So when you open your site editor, you will notice you can You've got access to navigation, styles, pages, templates, patterns. Now, we haven't spoken about this, this part of the puzzle. But you can make simple edits to your navigation block or your, to your navigation menu from here as well. You won't be able to style it, etc., but you will be able to make some, some simple edits, as mentioned. So let's see how that works. If I select navigation here, you will notice I've got four of my navigation menus here. So let's select the first one, header navigation. Now, here you will be able to, of course, rearrange items. You can delete menu items here. And if you click on the three vertical dots next to the name of the navigation, you'll be able to rename or duplicate or delete this navigation menu. So, of course, if you click on the three vertical dots and say rename, I can let's say I want this to be called main menu. And now I can save. And now, of course, it will be saved as main menu. You can also click on edit here and it will take you into focus mode. Um, and you can make some simple edits here. But please note, you can't style it here. If you open your list view, you will see that the navigation block is actually locked here. So. Um, you will see you you don't have your your settings or your your styling options here. It is only for simple edits. To of course style your navigation um, menu, you have to go to template parts or to a template and do it right from um, within there. All right. So again, if I wanted to now style something, I've got to go. 
Um, let's go to our example template. It was the navigation block template. Open the template and I can style um, I can style my my navigation menu from here with settings and um, and styles. All right, so those are the the main examples that I I wanted to show um, to you today. And um, I'm gonna end the recording here, but then we can hear if there are any questions or, or things that you want me to clarify or um, other examples that you wanted to, to ask about. So yeah, thank you for joining us today. And um, we'll see each other next time.